Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the top 5 best DSLR cameras in the market for this year. To see the price and find out more information about these cameras, you can check out the description below. Ok, so let's get started with the video. At number 5 it's the Nikon D3400. The Nikon D3400 is the company's entry-level DSLR camera. It's a modest update to the D3300 and uses the same 24 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor, which offers very good image quality in both JPEG and RAW modes. The D3400 features full HD video capture that, when paired with the updated kit lenses, offers smoother, quieter and more accurate focusing. The camera has an ISO range of 100 to 25,600, an 11-point phase detection autofocus system, and can shoot continuously at 5 frames per second. The D3400 also offers a guide mode that makes it easy for beginners to learn how to shoot in various situations. Additionally, images can be transferred from the camera to a smartphone via Nikon's SnapBridge service. All in all, the D3400 offers solid performance in a lightweight and very affordable package, with user-friendly operation that won't confuse or constrain a first-time DSLR buyer. Here's what you need to know to get started with the Nikon D3400. The D3400 is usually packaged with an 18-55mm f3.5-5.6 to kit lens. For more versatility, the 18-140mm f3.5-5.6 to offers a wider zoom range. If you're only going to buy one additional lens, we'd recommend the 35mm f1.8. It's small, sharp, and great for shooting in low light. Our preference for a memory card is a UHS-1 type Class 3 SD card with at least 32 gigabytes of storage. We'd also recommend adding an extra battery to your kit. The addition of a more powerful flash, like the Speedlight SB300AF, will provide more versatility for low light and social photography. If you're a beginner, select Guide Mode. This will show you the best settings to use for your shot, which allows you to learn without getting into technical details. Effects mode allows you to apply 10 different filters to stills and video. To get the most out of the D3400's 24 megapixel sensor, we'd recommend shooting in RAW mode and adjust the images using Nikon's bundled Capture NXD software. For more advanced photographers, the PASM exposure modes will let you take full control of the D3400, including its 11-point autofocus system. Switch to continuous autofocus mode if you want to shoot moving subjects. The D3400 shoots HD video at up to 60p. The built-in SnapBridge feature will wirelessly connect your camera to your mobile device for photo sharing. At number 4, it's the Sony A68. The Sony Alpha 68 is a fantastic mid-range mirror DSLR camera that's oriented towards the beginners and hobbyists who want to capture well-defined photos and videos without spending thousands of dollars in order to feel that pleasure. Design-wise, the Alpha 68 has a handsome black body that is accompanied by a deep grip, multiple controls which are located across the front top and the back, as well as an OLED TrueFinder electronic viewfinder placed at its usual position. For your information, the electronic viewfinder offers 100% frame coverage and has 1.44 million dots, which is really cool due to the fact that you'll be able to shoot wonderful images in almost any lighting. Below the viewfinder, there's a 2.7-inch tiltable 460K dot LCD screen, which will let you tilt it up to 135 degrees or down to 55 degrees, with the intention to ensure that you can always have a clear sight of everything you intend to record. At the side, there are connectivity ports composed of a DC in connector, a microphone jack, one HDMI out, the power input, and a multi-interface port and a dedicated memory card slot. Let's talk about the features. The Alpha 68 is armed with a large Exmor ABS HD CMOS 24.2 megapixel sensor that has an ISO range of up to 25600, which is pretty cool. You should be able to capture high resolution photos in low light conditions without any problem at all. However, if you require more lighting, you shouldn't worry since all you have to do is take advantage of the built in pop up flash. In addition, this unit uses a translucent mirror technology that will keep track of even the most dynamic objects, so you can taste the benefits of shooting at 8 frames per second without noticing a noise. Before we end, I'd like to inform you that the Alpha 68 uses the Steady Shot Inside Image Stabilizing technology, which basically means that regardless of the lens you use, this technology will reduce the presence of blur and 
camera shake, so your shooting sessions will always be great. Overall, the Sony Alpha 68 deserves your attention, so give it a The 80D is Canon's newest enthusiast level DSL. As a follow up to the 70D, the 80D is well rounded and easy to use. It sports a new 24 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor, which offers much better dynamic range and low light performance than the 70D or 7D Mark II. The 80D has a new 45 point autofocus system with cross type points. The center point is more sensitive to help focus in very low light situations. The ADD is well designed with a durable weather resistant body that's very easy to hold. It has a shutter rated to 100,000 cycles and should stand up well in typical use. Other features we love about the ADD are the fully articulated touchscreen, built in Wi Fi, and continuous autofocus in live view and movie capture modes. The quality of its HD footage is good and its user friendly design makes it easy to capture decent looking videos. It also offers some of the best autofocus during video capture of any DSLR. The ADD is a great choice for enthusiasts seeking a still and video hybrid camera for documenting everyday life. Hi, I'm Richard from DP Review, and I'm here to talk about the Canon EOS 80D, Canon's latest enthusiast DSLR. It's got a 24 megapixel sensor, but unlike the one in the recent Rebel models, this uses Canon's dual pixel AF system phase detection autofocus across most of the frame. And unlike the previous models, this gives continuous AF in both live view and video modes. The AF module the camera uses when you're shooting through the viewfinder is also upgraded. It now features 45 AF points, all of them cross -time. This is a big upgrade compared to the 19 points available on the 70D. The ATD also gains NFC to make its Wi-Fi easier to use. There's also a new kit lens, the 18 35mm at 3.5 5.6 USM IS. It's the first lens to use what Canon is calling Nano USM, which it says will offer the high speed of traditional ring type focus motors, but with the lack of noise and the smoothness that you need for video. On top of this, Canon has created an optional clip-on power zoom unit to help you shoot smooth zooms when you're shooting video. There's also an optional shotgun style microphone. The upgrade to the ATD's core specifications already make it a pretty respectable update to the But the addition of the headphone socket and those video-specific accessories suggests Canon's been thinking as much about video users as it has about still shooters. The Canon EOS 5D Mark IV is an outstanding camera for photographers who demand high-quality still images, as well as filmmakers looking for pro-level video capture. It has a new 30.4 megapixel full-frame sensor, providing plenty of resolution for demanding situations from professional portraits to wildlife photography. The updated 61-point autofocus system covers up to 24% more of the frame and includes face detection. 4K DCI video ensures that the camera meets the highest standards for video quality as well. The camera's raw dynamic range has been significantly improved over previous 5D models. We also like the new touchscreen, which adds useful features such as tap to focus. Canon's dual pixel autofocus provides reliable face detection and subject tracking in live view, while delivering the most accurate and natural looking autofocus we've seen when shooting video. While the 4K video quality is excellent, the 4K recording is limited to motion JPEG format, which requires large, fast memory cards and may limit recording time. Overall, the Canon 5D Mark IV is a DSLR that will meet the needs of pros and enthusiasts who require high-quality images, excellent video, and a great user interface. Here's what you need to know to get started with the Canon EOS 5D Mark IV. In the box, you'll find the camera, a battery, charger, strap, a software disc, a cable protector, a USB cable, iCub, and a hefty user manual. We'll walk you through setup and recommend some accessories that will help you get the most out of this camera. Once you've done the basics to get your camera ready to go, let's dive in. If your camera didn't come with a lens, the 24-105mm f4 zoom is a good one. It covers a useful focal length range for everyday photography. If you want the best possible results, Canon's 24-70mm f2.8 is more expensive, but it 
deliver superb images. We recommend buying extra batteries for your camera. Next, let's get image quality settings dialed in. The 5D Mark IV offers a significant bump in resolution compared to the Mark III. To make the most of those extra pixels, we recommend shooting in RAW mode. Shooting in live view is a great way to take advantage of Canon's dual pixel autofocus system, especially if you're shooting portraits at wide apertures, where focus can be difficult. The 5D Mark IV is also Canon's first full-frame camera that offers continuous autofocus for shooting stills in live view mode. Face detection is impressive, and you can use the joystick to easily switch between faces in live view, or tap on a face to set focus. Setting focus in any mode is easy using the rear touchscreen, and the 5D Mark IV can even track moving subjects during video recording. And since it shoots 4K, you can extract still images from 4K videos using a simple on-screen interface.